Hi, Mystery Recapped here. Today, I am going to explain an action thriller film called Unleashed. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. At the beginning of the film, we are introduced to a vicious loan shark named Bart. His way of collecting money from the debtors is quite unique and ruthless. Bart has been training a man named Danny as a dog for his entire life. Ever since Danny was little, he has been locked in a cage, fed dog food, and trained to obey. His mental capacity is that of a child, as he doesn't know how to speak or act other than what is taught to him. Danny has a special dog collar around his neck at all times. While he is wearing it, he is harmless, but as soon as the collar comes off, he turns into an unleashed aggressive dog and kills anyone who is troubling his master. Bart is merciless to Danny. He frequently beats and insults him, but since Danny doesn't know any better, he thinks the abuse is a form of affection. One day, after a long day of beating people up for money, Bart brings Danny home. A man notices that his forehead is bleeding and hands him a bandage, but Danny is so naive that he doesn't understand the purpose of it. He simply goes back to his cage and starts punching a bag. He also has a first grader's book that he uses to entertain himself. He learns a few new words and shows great interest in learning. The following day, they continue the routine of threatening the debtors. One of their targets is a wealthy businessman who owes Bart a lot of money. He is not like the typical people they deal with because he knows about the collar trick. To prevent Bart from triggering Danny, they pull Bart away before he can take the collar off. They beat him up while Danny watches in confusion, unsure what he should do. Bart struggles and manages to take his collar off in the end. This triggers the beast in Danny, and he fights and finishes the enemies in no time. His unusual fighting skills don't go unnoticed by a man standing nearby. His name is Wyeth, and he is the organizer of an underground fight match. When he looks at Danny, he sees an opportunity to earn a lot of money. After the debtor is beaten half to death, Bart gets his money and comes outside. Although Danny saved his life, the man is furious that he didn't save him when he was getting beaten. He calls Danny an unworthy animal, overlooking the fact that he is the reason behind Danny's behavior. For the last destination of the day, they stop at an antique warehouse. To be sure that the last trick won't be repeated again, Bart asks Danny to stay in the warehouse while keeping a close eye on an alarm. When it glows red, he is asked to come inside and help Danny and his henchmen. As Danny waits, he sees a piano in a corner of the room. He remembers seeing it in the book and is fascinated by it. He presses a few keys when a blind pianist comes into the room. His name is Sam, and he is here to tune the piano. Upon seeing that Danny is interested in playing it, Sam helps him. It is a foreign experience for Danny, because he hasn't been treated with kindness ever in his life. Throughout the interaction, Danny doesn't say anything, but Sam doesn't seem to care. To help him focus, he asks Danny to listen to the ticking sound of the clock. This reminds him of the alarm that his master had told him to watch. Danny sees that it is lit and rushes inside to find Bart on the floor completely beaten. He and his henchmen have managed to defeat the enemies, but were severely hurt in the process. They return to their base and yell at Danny, calling him different names and kicking him into his cage. Then, Wyeth comes to meet Bart and offers a business idea. He wants Danny to fight in the next underground battle against the current champion. Since the battle is a death match that only ends when a person dies, the money is immense. If Danny is able to beat the current champion, Bart will earn a fortune. So, he doesn't waste a second before accepting the deal. The following day, Danny is taken to the ring. The opponent has been in the game for three years and has never been defeated. Everyone bets on him, confident about his skills. But when the match starts, Danny lands three strong punches to his neck and kills him in less than a minute. Wyeth is overjoyed to have found such a gem. He hands Bart his share of the money, promising to send more later. On their way back to the hideout, the gangster is in a good mood. He urges Danny to ask for anything he wants. Danny vaguely says, piano, but Bart sees no use of a musical instrument to a dog. Suddenly, their car is hit by a truck. The wealthy businessman who was beaten up yesterday has brought his people to kill Bart. They fire at the vehicle repeatedly, eventually getting the gangster, but Danny is left alive with only a single bullet hitting him. With his master gone, he has only one place to go, the antique warehouse. He finds Sam inside, who recognizes him by his footsteps. Danny falls unconscious before he can ask for help. When he wakes up, he is on the fluffiest surface he has ever been on. He takes a second before realizing that he is in a foreign 
room. It turns out Sam brought him to his house and has been taking care of him. Danny has been out for two days straight, so Sam is happy to finally have him back. He is still unused to being treated with kindness, and the new atmosphere makes him nervous. Sam's stepdaughter Victoria arrives at the house, and a scared Danny hides under the bed. She realizes that he is special and brings a keyboard under the bed, asking him to use it since he likes piano. At dinner, the family waits for Danny to join them. He comes outside, clutching the keyboard to himself. Because he has never had food in front of people, he starts devouring it like he usually does. Victoria stops him and teaches him how to eat properly without making a mess. Danny's eccentric behavior makes the family laugh, making him feel a certain way that he has never felt. Later, Sam tries taking his collar off, which startles Danny. He refuses to let anyone touch it, so Sam doesn't force him. The following morning, Sam and Danny drop Victoria at her college. Before separating, she kisses Danny on the cheek, making him flustered. He had read about a kiss in his first grader book and is happy to have experienced it in real life. Sam notices this and smiles to himself. Careful, Victoria, that's bestiality. He also registers that Danny has gone through something bad in life, which has affected his mental capacity. To help him socialize, Sam brings him to a grocery store and asks him to interact with the cashier. Although nervous, Danny watches Sam talk to people in awe. Later that day, he is asked to bring Victoria home from college. He nervously meets her, and the two go out for ice cream. At night, Victoria cannot sleep, so she wakes Danny up and teaches him how to play the basic keys on the piano. Sam hears them from his bedroom and smiles that Danny is finally opening up to them. In a short time, he becomes an inseparable part of their lives. One day, Danny and Sam are at the grocery store when some thugs start a fight with each other. Sam and the entire audience are scared, but Danny continues judging the vegetables as if nothing is happening behind him. Later, Sam finds him and asks him how he was calm in a situation like that. Danny simply replies that they weren't fighting him, so he shouldn't interfere. Sam is intrigued by the answer and inquires about Danny's past. He finds out that Danny's innocence was used to make him violent and sympathizes with him. For the next few weeks, they live as a happy family. Danny finally allows Victoria to take off his collar and is calm without it as well. Then, one day, Sam takes him to work to fix a piano. While working on the instrument, he reveals that he and Victoria are moving back to New York after she graduates. Danny is heartbroken because that would mean he will be left without a family again. But Sam clarifies that they are taking him as well, since he is a part of the family now. After work, Danny is given half of the money because he helped Sam. He excitedly goes to the store to buy a gift for everyone, but on his way out, he bumps into a guy who used to work for Bart. He reveals that Bart is still alive and is looking for Danny everywhere since he is his main source of income. Danny agrees to come because he wants to know who his parents are. In the following scene, Danny meets Bart and inquires about his mother. Bart replies that he found Danny on the side of the road and never bothered to look for his parents. After that, Danny is taken to yet another death match. His boss makes him wear the collar and then takes it off, only to find out that the trick doesn't work anymore. When Danny refuses to kill anyone, he is pushed into the battle ring with a dangerous opponent. He proceeds to hit Danny, but he doesn't retaliate. To make the match interesting, more fighters are put into the ring, but even upon being abused brutally, Danny doesn't fight back. All of a sudden, after a man steps on his hand, something in Danny's brain clicks. He turns into his former self, and it doesn't take long for him to defeat all of his opponents. At the end of the day, Danny is beaten and thrown into his cage again. Somewhere else, Victoria and Sam are worried about him, but have no clue where to look for him. When no one is around, Danny breaks out of the cage and finds a bunch of pictures on Bart's workstation. He recognizes himself in a picture where he is sitting with his mother in front of the piano. He attacks Bart and asks him about his mother for the last time. The man reveals that she was an adult worker who used to be his escort for many nights. She even brought little Danny to work and had no regard for boundaries. But Bart fell in love with her, so when she died of a disease, he took Danny in and made him his family. The following day, they are driving to work when Danny hears the word family, which reminds him of Sam and Victoria. He swerves the car, causing it to crash and taking the opportunity to run away. Following that, he returns to his real family, who are over the moon to finally see him. Upon finding out the story about his mother, they feel bad for him. Victoria describes the background of the picture, and Sam recognizes it as an auditorium that he has been to. 
To find out more about Danny's mother, they go to the auditorium. The staff there recognize her, but claim that she disappeared with her son one day and never returned. Victoria finds a music note in the picture's background and uses it to play the piano. The tune is the one that Danny's mother used to play when he was little. This brings back the memories he had suppressed over the years. A flashback then shows us that his mother was a musician with no money. Hence, she took a loan from Bart in exchange for her body. She always kept Danny away from the business until one day, Bart found out about him. When she refused to let him see the kid, she was killed and Danny was kidnapped. After regaining the memories, Danny realizes how dangerous Bart is. He tries to make Sam and Victoria pack their bags to leave the city instantly. But before they leave, Bart and a large gang of his men arrive at Sam's apartment building. Danny hides Sam and Victoria in their closet for their safety before running out to distract the thugs. He faces off against a man named The Stranger. He is an attacker hired by Bart with a skill level similar to his own. They get into an intense battle, which ends when The Stranger falls out of the window while Danny does his best to save him. In the end, Bart pursues Danny and finds out which apartment he used to live in. He threatens to kill Sam and Veronica if he doesn't come outside. Danny has to reluctantly give up to save his loved ones. But when he gets close enough to Bart, he attacks him and furiously beats him. Sam and Victoria burst out of the closet to stop him, knowing that he isn't a killer. When everything calms down, the three embrace each other. At the same time, the police arrive and arrest Bart for the plethora of crimes he has committed. In the last scene, Danny and Sam attend a piano recital where Victoria is performing. She says the piece is dedicated to a special person and performs the song that Danny's mother played years ago. Danny watches her in awe and sheds a happy tear. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.